Hey guys, people have been wondering what the differences are between the standard and pro versions of the new Fairlight app. So let's have a look at the features in each of them and plug into some external hardware so we can see how that works as well. Okay, so what you get with the standard version is that you get a Fairlight player. You get to play all the sounds from the Fairlight Series 2. There's around 500 sounds, a big selection that we can scroll through. Let's listen to a couple of the most famous sounds, Orc 2 for example. And that really breathy voice sound. You can also plug in MIDI devices. Here we've got a Line 6 MIDI interface. Plug in the keyboard. We can play some notes. You get up to 8 voice polyphony. And it also works through Apple's Core MIDI. So you can plug in a camera adapter and any Core MIDI compatible USB keyboard. There's a list of compatible Core MIDI devices on the help page. If you're the proud owner of a new Akai synth station, you can use the Fairlight app and play all the sounds. Also your octave button, channel change and pitch bend works too. In the revised player version, you can now edit the default instrument so you can assign up to eight different voices and then edit the parameters of each of those voices, including the loop, start and length, which you can edit dynamically. The Fairlight player can also play compositions made using the sequencer known as Page R. Now the app comes with two demo pieces that you can play using Page R. You can also import Page R songs and their instrument sets, but not the voices themselves, from others who've got the Pro version. Now let's have a look at the Pro version. You get a whole lot more sounds, you get the CMI Series 3 sounds. Let's have a listen to a few of those. There's 16 bit, much better quality sounds, and you'll notice that they're a whole lot longer with, with sort of more texture. As well as the player import functions, the Pro version allows you to import Fairlight voice files and create your own voices from WAV and AIF files. Any files that you put into the app via iTunes will show up in the list here, so you can add them and play them along with the other voices. So once you've imported voices, you can also put them into instruments, which are sets of eight voices and you can edit the parameters of each voice like the pitch, velocity, release, MIDI channel and general MIDI instrument. You can also visually change the loop length to get looped sounds to sound just right. You can use those voices in page R and write your own sequence 1980s style. Once you've finished writing your tracks, making your instruments and importing voices, you can export and email all those files either through iTunes or email directly from within the app. You can also export and import MIDI files and import any song, instrument or voice files that are sent to you from someone else. So hopefully that will help you choose which version is right for you. Any questions or comments, see you at fairlightinstruments.com.au slash iOS slash support.